and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Atlanta Braves. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Plenty of storylines taking shape in this series as we set the stage for game four, Chris. Well, the number one thing to discuss is just how lopsided this series has been. You know, you get to this point of the season, Boog, and you expect both teams to be on pretty even ground, but it's not played out that way at all. And when a team takes care of business with such dominance and gets out to a 3-0 lead, I just can't see this series lasting much longer. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes, but hey, Coming back to win the series has been done before. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And on the mound now, Ian Anderson. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. And a pitch. And fouled off. And he'll two. And there's a ball. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wide, the kick, and the 1-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Harris has a beat on it. And makes the grab. And there's one down. Here's Juan Soto. Up the middle. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Manny Machado. In the air to left center. Harris has a beat on it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. The wind of the pitch. Strike one. All ones count. Up the middle, Kim throws the first. One gone, bottom half of the first. And next is the designated hitter, Vaughn Grissom. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. a little bit low. 0 oh, 2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Fought off foul. And now the 0 1. Sliced hard, but foul. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Oh Next one just misses. And it's one and two. Off the outside edge. And now the count is two and two. On the ground, right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he'll be safe at first. Matt Olson up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. 
Swings through that one for strike one. That's in there. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Back here at the ballpark, top of the second, Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. And the postseason success continues for him. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Anderson over to first. Tatis back easily. Hammer, base hit. Tatis, round second on his way to third. Not in time. He's safe. And it's 1-0. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. First offering misses badly for ball one. Runner at second, nobody out. And a big swing and a miss. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That one is absolutely belted. Harris going back, back some more, bangs off the wall. Run comes in from second, it's 2 nothing, And that's a double. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Wouldn't chase that time. Next offering way off the plate. No outs. Runner on second. Two down. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Belton fires in the air left field and there's two away just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left that one the other way he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it Back here in Atlanta, bottom half of inning number two. Here's Austin Riley. 
edge of the zone for a strike. 1 1. Lugo certainly has electric stuff, considered by many to be a strikeout pitcher. He might not be at the top level in that category, but strikeout's a big part of his game. Three. Struck him out without a swing. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Here's Marcelo Zuna. There's a strike. And he doesn't beat himself. I mean, he's going to throw strikes. He's not going to issue many free passes. And he's going to keep the ball in the ballpark. And that clips the corner. So when you look at that, he's not completely preventing guys from hitting home runs. But he's so consistent that you look up. By the time he gives the ball over, it's the sixth or seventh inning. And there's one or two runs on the board at most. Throw over to Cronenworth. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Travis Dardo in the box now. No balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a back at Truist Park. Now it's the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. Anderson back to work. And that one fouled off. Bogarts, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he won the Silver Slugger at his position in the National League last year. Ball. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. That one hit to right. Acuna has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. Juan Soto now grounded out to short in his first trip. That one drifts inside. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Harris has a beat on it. Hauls it in, and there's two away. And now it's Manny Machado. He's 0 for 1. Hard ground ball, base knock. Everything came together for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Tatis swings oh through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. Singled and scored his first time. Not one even one. close there. One ball, one strike. Tatis waits and he chases a high fastball there spin rates outstanding on that high fastball really tough to hit and that's oh, off that's the bad. inside edge ball two recognize that change up right out of the hand just spit on it that one at 95 oh, missed up top three and two now Ripped on a line to center. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Padre. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Orlando Arcia. That's a strike. Going one. a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. Ground ball right side could be two. The throw to second. Throw to first, but he beat it. 
So up next, Michael deal, Harris. Deal, deal. Rudder takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Yeah. Save. One out and a runner at second. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Got him swinging. And two away now. Now it's going to be Vaughn Grissom. Inside corner. That's a strike. It's 0-1. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Next offering misses. Now one and two. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Soto moving back for it. And it's caught just in front of the wall. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a miss at one above the zone. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Strike two. Out towards left center. Ozuna should have it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And there's two away. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. And that one is lifted in the air. That takes care of Grisham. And that's the third out. Bottom of the fourth. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Fastball in for a strike. And it's 0-1. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. The 0 2. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Here is Matt Olson. And that's in there for strike one. Base hit up the middle. He was all over that one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Swing and a miss, strike one. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Misses outside, three and one now. And a big swing and a miss. This to center field. Grisham makes the grab, two away now. Marcelo Zuna, next up for the Braves. Swings and misses, going one. There's a strike. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. That one lifted to left. Soto gets under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Brave strand. All set for the start of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Hassung Kim. The pitch. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Now one and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. That one the other way. One away here in the fifth. 
And now it's Austin Nola. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Just off the inside edge. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And he deals. Pitches in the dirt, and it's to a two. Grab ball up the middle. Throw on to Olsen. And the first two set down in the top of the fifth. It's Xander Bogarts now. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Now the youngster wants Soto. First pitch just misses. And that's in for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. The 1 1. And now one and two. A one two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Next pitch inside, and the count is even two and two. Outside. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And here's a 3 2. Fouls it back with two strikes. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Machado up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Bullpen action out there for the Braves. Charlie Morton getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snitker. Vines getting cranked up as well. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that is that. Padres leave a pair, but they're on top. Welcome back. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. That's in there. That's strike one. On the ground to third. Machado throws to first in time. And a quick out number one. Arcia stands in now and watches strike one. And a pitch. Hard ground ball. Base now. One gone runner at first. Here is Ozzy Albies up to him. That one's in there. Strike one. And a foul ball. Grounder might be two. Over to Kim. One. And that's two. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Anderson back to work. 
Out towards right center field. Acuna on the run. Pulls it in on the run. What a way. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Carpenter now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Kirby Yates, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Lee, a left-hander, also throwing. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. 0-2 now. On the ground. The throw to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Jake Cronenworth. Down the line towards the corner. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. You'll one. On the ground is short. Arcia whips it to first. That takes care of Cronenworth. Truest part, bottom of the six. Now here is Michael Harris. That one drilled left field. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Waste no time there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. He was clearly ready to jump all over it. Grissom at the plate now, and that's inside. Next offering is down low. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Snaps it to third. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Runner leads away at second. Waves at the bender for the strikeout has been racking up the strikeouts and what's so impressive not walking anyone I mean this guy's just going right after hitters filling up the strike zone and it looks like hitters they're trying to think with him but they just are a pitch behind dominating stuff out there on the mound yeah that was a wasted RBI opportunity but competitor like him he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at bat Olsen in the box now takes strike one Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't. Olsen swings and drives it deep to right. Onto the warning track. And he holds. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Kirby Yates. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. You know, these Padres, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. The 1-1. One, one. That one missed. Swing and a miss as he was late. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next pitch has popped up. Riley sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. Ha Sung Kim digs in now. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Albies over to first in time. And two away to start the seven. Two outs, space is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Nola. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. It's softly on the ground to third. Whips it to first, and that is that. Set for the last half of the seventh, and here is Austin Riley. That one finds the zone. One one. Oh. 
And a swing and a miss. You know, these Braves, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Lifted in the air, right center field. Tatis drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. And next for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna. In there, and it's 0 1. 0 1. To the right side, Kim. To first, and that quickly, two away. Up next for Atlanta. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. That one's in there. And that's strike one. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. No ball, two strikes. In the air out to center. Grisham settles under it and makes the catch. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Jesse Chavez. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Bogarts stands in here, takes ball one low. Off the plate, inside. Two balls, no strikes, the count. And that one is inside. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And now it's Juan Soto. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Riding to the plate. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Here's Machado. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And it finds its way through for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Here's the throw to the plate. Couple of singles back to back. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Matt Carpenter, the next up for the Padres. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. New pitcher for the Braves, Dylan Lee. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Cronenworth in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. One out. Base is full. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Okay. 
the punch out there and the Padres waste the chance and now the center fielder Trent Grisham swings through that one oh and one the Braves bullpen has some activity Rysel Iglesias up and loosening in the pen oh and two as he waves at that one That's outside. Strike three. Got him swinging. Good job at damage control. On to the bottom of the eighth. Now in for the Braves. Orlando Arcia. Back now. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Tim Hill. And a pitch. Smash to the left side. Tosses to first. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Grisham puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves. Michael Harris. Hey. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Nice grab on the run. And that will end the... Now we see Rysel Iglesias. See us out of the bullpen. A line in the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Hauls it in for the out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Nola. Now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Charlie Morton getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Ball one there. Foul ball still a one and two count. Right handed reliever. Fights that one away, still one and two. Righty delivers. And that one is lifted in the air. Acuna there. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. And here comes Sander Bogarts. First offering misses the mark. Iglesias, 33 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. The 1 1. Oh, can't get out of the way of the fastball, and that's going to sting. I don't care what some players might say. Nobody likes getting hit by a pitch unless you're in an 0-2 count and there's a knuckleballer out there on the mound. Soto, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed are creeping into my mind right now. Here's a 1-1. And that's down it away. Two two down to twenty two, knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Left field brings it in, and that'll do it. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound. 
And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Good two seam action right there, running away from the batter, rolled over it, got the ground out. Next offering is in for a strike. And downstairs. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Next offering is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. And now Matt Olson up to hit. That one's in there on one. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. And that does it. They win the pennant. They are champions of the National League. Congratulations to the National League champions. These guys clearly excited, and they deserve every bit of this moment. Enjoy it, fellas, but get yourselves ready for the biggest series of your lives. For my partner, Chris Singleton, and our great crew, thanks for watching the National League Championship Series on MLB The Show. Final line for a